just super excited to uh, finally get on the ice and uh, you know kind of see how uh, professional hockey is treated and how to kind of hold yourself. How crazy is this whole experience for you? I mean, you just got drafted a couple days ago, and now here you are in Coral Springs, Florida, playing for Florida Panthers. Yeah, it was a quick turnaround, but uh, I'm really excited. It's really nice here, and uh, I'm just excited to get started. What do you want to get out of this week out of your first development camp? Uh, I think it's a learning process, so just kind of take everything in and you know learn from all the great leaders here, the guys who have been here before, uh, and the coaching staff, and, and from everyone who's kind of behind the scenes as well. You mentioned before that you are looking forward to be a role model. What does it mean to be in a market like Miami and trying to be a role model one day? Yeah, I just want to keep getting better and keep uh, improving and kind of uh, be a person that young kids can look up to for sure. You're pretty much always the tallest guy on the ice, but out there, Ryan Bednar has got you matched at 6'5". Nice to kind of see that face down yourself a little bit. Yeah, it's it's nice to see some guys on, on your team that are kind of the same size because um, being bigger is always, uh, I want to say, nicer on the ice for sure. Yeah, you mentioned uh, just like seeing how the NHL game is treated. Did you sense anything different today or was it? Yeah, I think just the way everyone acts is just professional here. It's uh, it's kind of a step up from junior hockey. Uh, everyone kind of knows what they're doing, and you know the guys who have been here kind of uh, are leaders, and they're kind of teaching younger guys what to do. From your dad playing the CFL, what kind of teaching points did he give you as far as being a professional over the years? Yeah, for sure, um, he's helped me a lot. Not necessarily like the the stuff on the ice, but. Uh, just you know, being being a professional, he's done and he knows what it takes, the effort uh, and everything to do. So he's uh, taught me in like that uh, category, I guess. I've also read that he's kind of wanted you not to play football because of concussions and, and those type of injuries. Yet here you are, it's still a punishing sport. Um, what is? Was there any at, at any point you say, no, I don't want you doing that either? Um, well, hockey's always been my passion, and he's kind of been behind my back from, from the start and just supporting me. So, I mean, I, I've loved the game, and I told him I wanted to play, and so he, uh, he really just accepts that and supports me. You said you fell in love with the game playing street hockey. Down here in South Florida, that's a lot of kids only have street hockey, given the lack of ice. Just what do you think about that as kind of a, a way for people to kind of see the game here and kind of learn the sport? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's a, it's a great way to bond with friends and make new, new friends. So um, it's a great way to uh, kind of learn the game as well, learn some off-ice skills, kind of get your, uh, your hands and your off-ice like, skills going. Have you had a chance to step outside the last couple of hours, see how hot it is? Uh, I just walked around the, the hotel outside. It's really nice, and uh, I really enjoy it here. So great city. Were you surprised how hot it was, by chance? Sorry. Were you surprised how hot it was here, like different wise? Uh, kind of the same as Dallas. So I kind of got used to it over there. And uh, I mean, I love the weather. I love warm weather. So I'm really glad that I'm Florida Panther.